Hello gamers and welcome back to another Hypixel Skyblock video. A couple of months ago, I made a video gambling 150 million coins on jerry boxes. But I made a huge mistake, because instead of buying green jerry boxes, I bought golden jerry boxes. And now, I get a second chance, because jerry is back. And this time, instead of wasting 150 million coins on two stacks of golden jerry boxes, I'm gonna go for green jerry boxes, because they have the same items and the same drop chances. The only difference is money and XP. There is one problem though. I'm kinda broke. I sort of wasted 200 million coins on a tier 3 wheat hoe. But I already made back 15 million coins since then. And if you remember, I kept 10 million coins on my bank because I didn't want my co-op member to be broke, but I need coins, so I'm sorry. The green boxes are significantly cheaper than the golden boxes. I can already afford two stacks of this stuff. So instead of doing two stacks, I'm gonna do 5 stacks, which is gonna be around 50 million coins. I already have half of that, and there are 4 days left until this guy's gone, so I'm pretty sure I can make 24 million in 4 days. Also, according to YouTube analytics, only around 10% of my viewers are 45 years old, so consider becoming older. Oh, and also, subscribe, because only about 30% are actually subscribed. Kinda cringe. I've been doing a lot of farming recently, so I was hoping to take a break for a while. Yeah, no, I need coins, I have to farm. This is actually the perfect chance for me because I've been wanting to see which one of my farms makes me the most amount of coins, and now I'm finally forced to do it. I'm gonna farm each one of my crops for 20 minutes and then compare how much money I made from each farm. I don't really have the best designs when it comes to my farms. I mean, just look at my sugarcane farm. So you might get better results with better farms, but I am farming 55 and I am gonna be using a legendary elephant pet and I do have basically max tools. So keep that in mind. Alright, I'm done. And this is everything I got from farming each one of my crops for 20 minutes. These are just the crops that I have. I didn't farm cactus, mushrooms, and cocoa beans. I also got a bunch of jerry boxes. I lost a golden jerry box and a blue jerry box because jerrys just love the void so much. Anyways, now it's time to sell everything and see how much I made from each crop. I could have gotten more nether warts because I am in 1.8 and if I wanted the optimal farming experience, I need to go to 1.12 or install the patcher mod. But I think I made it clear that I don't really care about efficiency that much. And for melons and pumpkins, there was a lot of luck involved with the dicer drops. Oh, by the way, I won't be selling baked potatoes as baked potatoes. I'm gonna turn them into hot potato books and then sell them. I just finished setting everything up and I don't normally do this, but I'm gonna sell some hoe blueprints. And luckily for me, three contests happened while I was farming. I'm gonna need 21 more tickets, so I'm just gonna buy that. And now I can buy three blueprints. Trade them for a total of 2.5 million. Pleasure doing business with you, fellow gamer. I already have 7.3 million coins to claim from the bazaar, but it doesn't seem like all the orders are filled, so I'm gonna wait until everything is sold. All of my sell offers are now filled, and these are the results. The cheapest was melons at 637,000 coins, closely followed by sugarcane at 669,000 coins. After that, we have wheat at 780,000 coins, then surprisingly, pumpkins at 850k coins. While farming pumpkins, I got a prey to RNGs drop, so I managed to get five polished pumpkins in 20 minutes. 
and that's why they're so expensive. At third place, we have potatoes with 922,000 points. In second place, we have carrots at 1 million and 67,000. And the number one spot goes to... Netherworts. Yeah, they're back on top. Even though I disrespected Netherworts and I did not farm them the proper way, I still managed to get over 1.2 million in 20 minutes. Plus I got 5 million coins from selling jerry boxes. And now I'm sitting at 40 million coins. Just 13.5 million more and I'll be able to afford the 5 stacks of green jerry boxes. And now that I know which crop makes the most amount of money, I'm gonna focus on farming netherworts. But since my netherworts farm is not infinite, I only have two layers, I'm gonna farm it and then farm the second best crop, which is carrots. This one is not infinite either, I only have one layer. After that, I'm gonna go to potatoes and by the time I'm done with this, I can go back to netherworts. It's been a while since the last clip and now I'm at 52.4 million coins. There's another word contest happening in less than 10 minutes, so I'm gonna participate in that and then buy the boxes. And the contest just started. I don't think I farmed other words once after I was done making my tier 3 hoe, so I completely forgot how satisfying it was to farm other words. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just listen to this. It's great, I know. But if it's the best crop for money, and I enjoy the sound of breaking it, why don't I farm it? Well, in other words, doesn't give any farming XP. That's cringe. And also there is one huge drawback of farming netherworts when Jerry is the mayor. You don't get any Jerry's whatsoever. So while you do make a lot of money farming netherworts, you're missing out on the possibility of making an extra 1.5 million from a golden Jerry. So if Jerry is the mayor, then uh, you should probably farm carrots instead. Because you make a lot of money, you get XP, and Jerry's can spawn. After this contest, I'll probably have enough tickets to upgrade my farming level limit as well. So that's pretty cool. This is another reason I hate farming netherworts. It's so hard to get gold. Let me just make sure I have my elephant pet. I do. I'm using a tier 3 hoe, a level 100 legendary elephant pet, I'm level 55 farming, I'm dummy spamming because I have all of my hoes on me, and I have plus 20% farming drops from the farming hand upgrade. Yet, I still can't get gold after 6 minutes into the contest. Probably because I'm not farming netherwards in the most efficient way possible, but still, that, that's stupid. After over 14 minutes, I finally made it to gold, I didn't even get to finish my sentence and I already made it back to silver. Anyways, I'm confident I can get it, so I'll see you after the contest. Alright, contest just ended and I got gold. I even broke my personal record, probably because I was dummy spamming. I realize how stupid that sounds, but it's what I decided to call it. I'm talking about when people put farming for dummies on multiple hoes and, and keep them on them for extra farming fortune. Anyways, it's time to claim that get the rest of my tickets, and upgrade that. I just have to sell my nether wards. And now I can set up a buy order for 320 green jerry boxes, also known as five stacks. Hopefully that fills by tomorrow morning. I already have over a stack to claim. This is gonna take no time. Never mind. someone set up an order for a thousand green boxes. I'm two boxes away from filling my order. It just did. Great. If you don't know anything about these boxes, you're probably super confused. Let me explain. All Jerry boxes have the chance to drop certain items. Some of those items go for up to 200 million coins. Actually, never mind, they're down to 128 million. Point is, you can make a lot of money, which is exactly why I decided to gamble all of my money once again. This is my first box in a while, so I'm hoping I get something good. 2500 mining XP. I don't know what I was expecting to be honest. Wait, I just noticed something. I'm holding the fifth slot in my inventory, but if I open it, it takes it from the first one. That's pretty weird. Oh hey, got 20k coins. Okay, I'll take it. All right, I just finished opening a stack of green jerry boxes. And so far I got three jerry candy, a single jerry rune, three green jerry talisman, and four jerry guns. Anyways, I still have four more stacks to go, so I'll see you after I'm done. And 
I'm done. I got a total of five Jerry guns. Seems my luck kind of ran out after the first stack. A single Jerry rune, Jerry 3D glasses, which upgrade the Jerry pet to mythic, a Jerry stone, and 22 Jerry candy. Plus now I have 3.1 million coins. I think I started with 600k, but I'm not sure and a bunch of these. First of all, I'm gonna sell the 3D glasses. They're kind of cheap at 200k coins. The Jerry Stone is even cheaper at around 30k coins. The Rune is 200k. The Jerry Guns are 4.6 million coins each. That's pretty good. The candy is 21k each. I just reached the maximum number of auctions I can set up, so I'm gonna have to claim the stuff that's sold, and I have 9.4 million coins to claim. It's been a while and these jerry candies are not selling. Now they're down to 15k, so I'm just gonna cancel all of these, and then put them back in the auction house. I'm starting to wonder if this is actually worth it. But I also have some good news. All of my jerry guns sold, and now I have another 13.8 million coins to claim. Anyways, I'll cancel all of these and then set them up for 15k or maybe 14k. I don't know. They're all sold thanks to a single gamer. Actually, if you're watching this, you just saved me a lot of time. But anyways, I'm just gonna claim everything. That was a lot. And now I'm at 26.5 million coins. And I still have all of these to sell. The reason why I didn't sell them with the rest of the stuff is because... I can craft them into blue Jerry Talisman. And then with five of these, I can craft a purple Jerry Talisman. The thing is, I don't know if it's better to do that or to sell these individually. A single green Jerry Talisman goes for 880k. Never mind, 890k. A blue one, which is five of these, goes for 4.6 million. And the last one that I can craft is the purple one, which goes for 23.9 million. I don't know why, but. I thought I only needed four of these to craft a purple one. I need five. And I'm missing two green ones. But since it's gonna be worth it to buy them and then craft it, I'm just gonna buy them. Since Jerry is leaving in almost two days, I can probably hold off on selling this because it's gonna go up in price after he leaves. Honestly, I don't really feel like waiting, so I'm just gonna sell it for 23.9 million. Oh, someone actually bought it. All right, that contest just ended, so it's time to claim my 23.9 million. More like 23,660K after tax. I started with 53 million and I lost 5 million. I'm now at 48.5 million. Considering last time I did this, I lost more than 70 million coins, 5 million coins doesn't sound so bad. But if you buy a single green box and get a jerry gun, then you make money. Maybe gambling isn't bad after all. But I still lost money, both times. I really need to stop gambling. It doesn't work out for me. Anyways, before the video ends, I just want to say thank you to Cool I'm Dad, because he got me another month of MVP++. Very pog. Oh, and also, channel memberships are a thing now. Very cool. Anyways, thank you so much for watching gamers, and I'll see you later. Peace.